Oh yes, you're welcome to Heroic Online Computer Institute. I'm glad to welcome you. Um, today we're going to start talking about programming languages that we're going to study. Okay, um, there are lots and lots of pro programming languages we're going to study. Um, but we are going to start with the big three. With the big three. Okay, all right. Um, let's go there. By the way, Heroic Online Computer Institute uh, is, uh, is part of the services offered by Heroic Universal Concept International. Okay, and that is where we teach you computer programming, web development, uh, digital marketing, graphic design, video editing, and all other uh, ICT courses online. Okay, so you're welcome. So today we're going to look at HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We're going to know their function and what they are used to. Okay, what they are used to do. <clears throat> As a beginner, um, you need to clearly understand this concept, HTML, CSS, and uh, JavaScript. Okay, and you need to also know their differences. So what are their functions? What are their differences? Okay, so how are you going to use them? These things are what we're going to look at. All right, um, the difference. What is the difference between HTML, CSS, and JavaScript? Before we look at the difference, please, um, we call these the big three. Big three, as in the big three programming languages, because they are the three first three programming languages you are going to study if you want to go into web development these are the first three you're going to first start with html then css then javascript okay all right now let's study html stands for hypertext markup language this is the logo of html okay hypertext markup language you see that all right now this is a programming language used to create the structure of a web page okay just like a skeleton okay you put the structures okay just to you kind of build the skeleton of the web page okay it puts all the structures in place it is used to control the layout of the content okay, used to provide structure to the web page like i said it is used to uh, it's just the fundamental building block of any web page okay all right then css css uh simply means cascading style sheet cascading style sheet all right uh, actually it's used for to style the web page like it's used to apply style they kind of apply design apply color and all the rest of them make the web page looks uh, amazing looks stylish you get that all right okay um just know that css primarily handles the look and feel okay the look and feel of a web page it also makes a web page responsive okay when i say responsive i mean it makes a web page to be flexible enough enough to fit in uh into any web any screen any device clean okay let's say if you're using a laptop it will adjust to fit in in a laptop if you're using a tablet it will adjust okay the, your website will adjust to be fit to fit into that laptop i mean that uh, that uh, um, uh, tablet that you are using then if you are using a phone a, a smartphone it will adjust again to fit into that smartphone so that is making your web page responsive you get that so with css you're also going to achieve that then javascript javascript uh makes your web page interactive okay so it adds interactivity to your web page okay it handle it handles uh, complex functions and features okay um <clears throat> It just make uh, it's a programming languages and it makes your web page uh, interactive okay it enhances the functionality of your web page 
All right. Now, um, let's further look into that. Let's just make it easier for you. Um, now, HTML, you use it so for structure, for content and structure. Okay. Then, you see, for example, use it to add headings. You add paragraph, you add list, and many other things you can add. You can, you can also add button, you can add, you can add forms, and all every other ele elements you're going to add to your web page. Okay, uh, HTML takes care of it. Okay, just adding everything, just like you're building, building, bringing building materials and putting it. Okay, adding building materials to a building, something like that. Okay, then CSS. CSS is for presentation, kind of. For style, as a matter of fact, you are going to use it to beautify your web page. Okay, kind of adding font, change the font of your text, put color to it, put background color, border, and so many other things. Then JavaScript for behavior. Okay, so that is kind of make your web page not to be static. It will be dynamic. Okay, it makes it to a kind of interact with you. Okay, so if you've been visiting a website, you'll see that sometimes when you click on a button, a, a pop-up will appear telling you something. Okay, or maybe you want to log in using a form, you get you get an instruction telling you that maybe you didn't enter a, 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 the password correct, or you didn't enter your name correct, you didn't enter this correct or that. Do you get that? So that is JavaScript in action. It can also be other programming languages. Okay, with this six. A typical JavaScript okay so when you see a pop-up something pops up in your website that's a JavaScript in action okay instructing you okay making a website interact interactive okay so you want if you want your website to be interacting with the user then JavaScript will do the job okay so um, that said um then let's quickly look at this picture it will help you to understand this better okay um this is html you see how it looks like skeleton that is easy to build a skeleton of a web page i'm still trying to explain this uh this th three big three languages for you to understand okay so we want to put structures in place place skeletons in place you see how the skeletons are ordered uh, fixed this way Okay, but it's not yet complete. You get me? Then JavaScript is like uh, your brain, uh, like it's a programming language for interactivity, just like the way your brain does. Do you get me? Your brain interacts through this nav. We see the nerves, okay? They can, it, it interacts with the entire part of your body. That is what it's telling you. And this is exactly what JavaScript is also doing. Okay, then, then, um, Finally, the CSS. Then when you would have added HTML, then the JavaScript will make it interactive. Okay, then when you want your website to appear fancy for, then you can now color it, make it look appealing, just like you are, this man is looking. You get that? That is JavaScript. I believe that makes sense. All right. So clearly to make this look, make more sense to you, even though I know that it's making a lot of sense already, but to make it to make more sense to you, um, I'm going to do something. Like I'm going to do something. Um, maybe in the next video because this video is long already. But in the next video, I'm going to um, use my website. Oh, let me quickly do it. Okay, let me do it. Okay, um, this is my website. This is Heroic Online Computer Institute. Okay, uh, let me log out so that you see the face, the face. Page. Okay, this is the website right now. Do you see how appealing, how amazing it's looking? The color is there, everything is there. Now look at what I'm gonna do. Uh, this was as, as a matter of fact, offline. As a matter of fact, this is my offline. This is just a, an offline version of it. I'm using a local server for this, okay? But still, this is how it looks when it's online, okay? Okay, so um, let's say, let me remove um css here okay let me remove css you know this has uh, html it has css it has javascript now let me remove css so that you see how it's going to look 
you see that it will not look, it will no longer look appealing the way it look, it's looking now. So let me go to the code. This is the code. This is the head the head section of the website. Then I will look for where the CSS is, and this is where the CSS is. We have Bootstrap here. I will now remove all the CSS. I will comment it out. I'll comment it out. Don't worry. You will learn how to do all this all this thing. Just know that I'm trying to remove CSS here. That's what I'm doing. I've commented it out, so I will save it. Then I will refresh the website so you see how it's going to be. You see how it is right now. Oh my God! Do you see that the all the all the amazing stuff are, are all gone. All you see is the picture, the the logo, and all the elements. Just all the elements the way they are. But you don't see the amazing uh, design anymore. You see that. So you see that this website, if you, you, you enter a website and the website is just looking like this, you're not going to like it, right? You are even going to be kind of confused on what to do. But once CSS is applied to this now, it makes it look great, okay? Okay, what we are going to do right now is I'm going to go back and apply CSS to it. Okay, let's see what we'll get. So I'll go back here right now, then I will remove, I will remove this comment this comment so that the CSS will be restored. Now the CSS will be restored. Now let me refresh. You see that? That's great. The CSS is back. Okay, so you can now see that the HTML will just put all the elements you need for your website. It will not organize it. It will not make it look stylish. But once you apply CSS to it, it will now look amazing. Okay, so that's it. Then JavaScript. Watch this. If I click on this button right now, if I click on this button, it will a pop up will appear. Did you see that? That is JavaScript in action. Okay. Maybe I want to log into the website right now. I want to log into HTML Classroom. That's my website. Then if I click here, you're going to see loading. You're going to see an instruction. Although it will be fast because this is a local server. So you see loading. That is a kind of interacting with you, telling you. Uh, I, I believe you've been. You've been uh, using website when you want to log into some certain website. It will see you see loading. Okay, this is loading. Then it will it will appear. Do you see this one? Just cop uh, it comes out here. That is JavaScript. Okay, you see the instruction is giving you. You are not authorized to share this video with other people. If you are if your friends are interested in any of our courses, refer them to us. You will be paid for that. Do you see to go back? So these are amazing stuff. The way JavaScript interacts with you as you move on. Okay, okay. Um, I think you're getting it. So, um, so that is JavaScript in action. Uh, if you want to, you can even test my website online so that you see that the loading clearly, the loading I'm talking about. Because let me log in. Let me go to the actual online www.heroiconcept.com. So I will check this website online. So you see loading. This is JavaScript in action. Okay, do you see the information here? This thing is loading. That's JavaScript. Do you see it appears? Beautiful. Okay, now let's log in. Let's log into HTML Classroom. Do you see loading right now? This is JavaScript again. Do you see that? Loading. This one is interacting with you. Do you see loading again? It's trying to tell you to wait that the website is loading. Do you get me? Then you see instruction. So all these things are what makes a website a full website okay, once you have html css javascript the website is it's going to work it's going to function but you still need some other programming languages to apply some other amazing stuff especially if you want to interact with the server so you need other programming languages to be able to interact with the server and to apply other amazing features to your website so that is why we're also going to study other programming languages like php then Bootstrap, um, jQuery, uh, Ajax, then we study SQL, okay? So all these are what we're going to study as we move on with the course. Congratulations. Let's continue. Thank you so much. I believe uh, you are now quite cleared with uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, what they do and their differences. Thank you so much.